but I want to talk about cognition uh, because I just talked about how the changes in, in the uh, in a synaptic level. Now we talk about cognitive process. Everybody is interested in cognition. It's uh, well, I think we can uh, view cognition in three levels. We normally we have a cognition about outside world, right? Our sensation, information flow, sensation, well, motor action. So it depends on our perception of the outside world. Now this includes sensation, perception, attention to a particular part of the uh, information, decision making, concept forming about the outside world. Now this is a desk, that's a desk of the same category, uh, forming a concept of desk and a categorization of different type of animal. Now uh, dogs are dogs even though they are different species. Uh, this are concept of categorization, the competition about outside world. Many animals have this. So when we talk about animal models, you can study this in animals. Even food fly have a, a sophisticated cognitive process. Honeybees have, have a good co cognitive process. So you can study a lot of cognition at this level. But they are all more interesting because we, we're understanding, we want to understand our brain, right? So there's a cognition about self and non-self. That's more complicated. I know I'm here standing, I know you are listening. I have to have the concept of myself and you, uh, other people. And these concepts, self-awareness, self and the sympathy and empathy, uh, uh, this, uh, the uh, empathy with I know what you're thinking about. I have the same thinking, uh, this uh, empathy. Theory of mind, I know what you're, what you're thinking. A theory about your mind, not my own mind. Uh, uh, the theory of mind, all this are the important aspect of concept of self and non-self. Now, who has it? Non-human primate may have some. Some of the non-human primate may be a model system for it, but below primate, there's no model for this so far. Right? So you can, you can, you can study uh, self and non-self. This is a very important because this is an important transition to a human-specific function of language. Because to, to for language to be uh, recognized, you need to have a cognition of self and non-self. Right? I'm talking to you, I know you are talking to me. So you, without, without uh, uh, self and non-self uh, cognition, you cannot have language. Right? So language ability is only human because only human can acquire language with syntax and grammar and has an open-ended construction of your sentence. And who has it? No, no animal has it. Uh, chimps, you can train chimps for years uh, in years. They can recognize symbols, but not language. They cannot form sentences. That's complicated. So uh, is non-human primate uh, still can serve as a model for it? In order to understand a language, I know this is a professor Wong, we have more to say on this, but the origin of language, uh, in my mind, you've got to go to earlier you have to have any model, you want to move the circuits, you want to manipulate and see how the, the ability of forming the language ability appear in the circuits. So uh, it's possible that proto language, some form of rudimentary language might be able to, uh, you can use primary model where you, trans, uh, you, uh, you introduce uh, genes of human genes into monkey and that allows you better sound production better motor uh, coordination uh, of your uh, face and your, your tongue, right? All this can may help you produce language. Now, obviously, there could be some uh, genes that allow the circuits that uh, that's required for, for monkey to, uh, to acquire. So this, our neuroscience in, uh, in the entire world are still mostly on this early part sensation, perception, even attention and decision making are much less understood. Uh, so we are really at a very, very beginning of understanding of cognition. So people talk about cognitive science is the very future and we have a long way to go. And I think that we eventually we need to go to that end. But there's a lot work to do. And, and future generation, uh, if you go into neuroscience, you have a job guarantee uh, for a century, <laughs> as long as you can live. 
Now I want to do a, can I have five more 